with a toast to remember those who they've lost, the dancing grannies ready to march in this year's Waukesha Christmas Parade. This group was devastated a year ago when a man drove his vehicle onto the parade route, killing six people, including four members of the dancing grannies, including 79-year-old Ginny Sorensen, her family leading the way for the group tonight. My mom would have wanted us to be here and um, I'm doing this, we're doing this in remembrance of her. I wouldn't have missed it. It is emotional not only for the grannies, but also for the thousands who line the streets to watch. Seeing the dancing grannies come by is definitely tears to your eyes. Like it was just awesome and just that moment of just like the community coming together. The annual parade through downtown Waukesha is a tradition in the small suburb of Milwaukee. And they were determined to keep that tradition going this year. There is a remembrance float and many other reminders throughout this year's parade of the tragic events of a year ago right here. Organizers want to honor the victims and also thank the first responders who rushed to the scene last year. And they want to show the community is strong. Anytime that there's tragedy, you know, really brings a community really together. And this year, the, the city really answered. Security is tight. Police officers posted throughout the parade route. And the city has placed barriers at intersections along the route to prevent vehicles from entering. All to keep evil out. I firmly believe that um, light always um, overcomes darkness and sometimes it takes a while for that to happen, but you never quit. The determination to move ahead with this parade seems to have been a success. It's gone off without a hitch. The Christmas spirit alive and well. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.